to Kevin Tibbles in Kentucky. And in the Senate race in Pennsylvania, another place where Bill Clinton has been, Democrat Joe Sestak is going to need a late surge to buck polling trends and erase Republican Pat Toomey's lead. And in the governor's race there, a new poll today gives Republican Tom Corbett a 10-point advantage over Democrat Dan Honorado. NBC's Ron Allen is in Philadelphia. You're going to have Michelle Obama coming in there tonight. Yes, we are at the University of Pennsylvania, which, of course, you and I both hold dear as our alma mater in full yes, disclosure. Yes, indeed. Should Go be a Quakers. big night for the Democrats there. <laughs> Should be a big night there for the Democrats, but it may be a very big, big day here on Election Day for the Republicans. As you were saying, Andrea, those polls have the governor's candidate and the Senate candidate on the Republican side ahead, consistently ahead, and that could be a big problem for Joe Sestak on the Democratic race. We spoke to him earlier today. He was out in West Philadelphia in an area where there's a big African American community trying to draw support. Here's some of what he had to say about the polls that have him consistently behind. We are right there, neck and neck with him. And this is Philadelphia. And people are going to come out. They know what's at stake. He hopes they come out, but a lot of people up there that we were talking to really don't know Joe Sestak. On the other side, Pat Toomey has been through this before. He was a congressman for six, six years. He's run this campaign before, at least uh, competing for the Senate in the primary election. And so the, the Republican side is enthusiastic about that candidacy. They see him as a, as a winner. He was a Tea Party member before the Tea Party, some of them say about him. So real strong conservative roots. And again, the Republicans are expecting a big victory here come Tuesday. Andrea? races as well. Pat Murphy in suburban Philadelphia uh, against his former rival and rematch there, Fitzpatrick. So there are some real, real uh, issues there at stake for the Democrats. They could lose a number of congressional seats as well. Thank you very much, Rod Allen.